My name is Krista Ross and I'm the CEO of the Fredericton Chamber of Commerce. Today is the first in a series of five videos where I'm going to talk to you about our Chamber's vision, mission and our 2023 policy priorities as set by the Board of Directors. The vision of the Fredericton Chamber of Commerce is stronger community through business prosperity. This is a recognition that as members of our Chamber, Board of Directors and staff are primarily local residents we believe that a symbiotic relationship exists between business, the community, and the citizenry. Citizens support local businesses, which creates jobs, grows the economy, and provides government with the resources to provide the social programs, recreational activities, and infrastructure needed in our communities. Our mission is to support business prosperity through networking, shared services, advocacy, and events. The Fredericton Chamber's vision and mission, along with our close connection to the community, guides every decision we make as an organization, particularly our policy and advocacy work. Each year, our Board of Directors discusses and updates our policy priorities in draft form. These draft priorities are then put to the membership in our annual member survey for their feedback. The priority I'm going to discuss in this video is fostering a competitive business environment. Traditionally, cost competitiveness has been an advantage that we have had in New Brunswick, but this has eroded over the past few years, even pre-pandemic. New Brunswick businesses are facing increases in minimum wage, property tax, EI rates, CPP increases, and of course, inflation like we haven't seen in decades. However, the business environment is about more than just costs. It also includes the regulatory environment, red tape, roadblocks to development, overlapping jurisdictional issues, and more. Two of the most important and challenging issues currently are the availability of housing and accessing health care, particularly primary care. Affordable housing has been a growing issue in Fredericton over the course of several years and has been exacerbated during the pandemic, driven by a very hot real estate market, the lack of available workers, and a dramatic increase in the cost of building materials. All levels of government understand that this is a critical issue and each have levers to encourage more housing development and it has become an all hands on deck situation. The municipal government released their affordable housing strategy this year. The provincial government has began removing the double tax and made Minister Jill Green responsible for the housing file and has made financial investments in conjunction with the federal government. From a business perspective, our members are telling us that the lack of housing in general, and affordable housing in particular, is making it more difficult for them to attract and retain new employees at a time when the rest of the country and the world are looking to the Atlantic region as a prime place to relocate. In our next installment, I'll talk about the growing issues of workforce development.